I'm Daniel Kraft, principal developer here at Player First Games. With me now is our game director, Tony Huynh. Hi, I'm Tony, the game director here at Player First Games and on Multiverses. I just want to fill everyone in on what's been happening since we first revealed the game in November. The team has been heads down working on the game, and we've had two technical alpha tests uh, that have happened. Um, I just want to thank everyone that has played in those tests and gave feedback. We learned a lot. Joining us are Nakad Boyd, who held the number one spot in our 2v2 leaderboard on the technical alpha test. What's going on, everybody? It's Nakat, and I am super excited and happy to be here to talk about multiverses. I've been playing fighting games professionally since 2009, so I kind of got a long history in the scene, and I'm finally able to just let it all out and tell you guys why this game is so amazing. And I'm Void. I've been playing professional platform fighters for about a decade. And honestly, I'm just really happy to be here and talk about multiverses both with Tony, Daniel, and one of my static teammates for a very long time, Nakat. So what are we actually doing here, guys? Oh, we're here to body you. Let's get to the stage. Let's, let's see what you actually have. All right, I'm ready to play. Let's do this. Prepare yourselves. Oh, let's do what we need to do. He just goes to the yeah. Where are we need yeah. just yeah. keep those powers yeah. contained. Yeah. I'm jumping up to you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We oh. in there. <laughs> <laughs> it stopped us. <laughs> <laughs> Our strategy. <laughs> Coming. We're swinging. Nope. No, 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 no. We gotta stop him. Oh, he's gonna charge. He's gonna charge over that corner. <laughs> gotta charge. Yeah. Armor. That was, that was Watch out for Superman. The smoke, you're actually invisible while you're in the smoke, unless you're attacking oh, yeah. for, the, for the enemies. Unless you're Batman, then you can see through the smoke. <laughs> yeah. Then Batman sees through the smoke, because he cheats. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and then the bats basically do damage, so they kind of force you off the sides of the edges. Nope. And I'm also trying to get off stage to bait oh my them to come to me. But sometimes I just bait myself. <laughs> We got this. Just get, just get, I just, just got get caught. Get, uh, <laughs> I was Give trying a, to avoid. avoid. I was trying to avoid him by actually like hitting me upward into the upward okay, blast off. zone, but I couldn't. He caught me Here off the side. Go. Like I burned my defensive options. The beauty of this stuff is like they're both at kind of high percent. Got him. Oh, oh, the minute I tried to lasso you, was already over. So. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we saw uh, Void was super high in damage, so we knew that we could get the kill if we just got him. Mm -hmm. So uh, he was low, and me and Tony were just chasing him down. Um, yeah, I went high, I did a quick and then he went down. Yeah. So we didn't have any so, option to come back. Yeah, we tried to cover. Two we tried to cover both the options. Yeah, I tried to lasso him back in. It just no, he was already dead. <laughs> I did my best to run, as a cat would. All good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got the W, so might as well run it back, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna adapt, don't worry. We're gonna adapt right now. We'll keep it the same. <laughs> I think this should be a fine warm up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Surrender. Match point. Red team. <laughs> Amazon never hold back. Match point. Blue team. Shield um, Superman over and over again, basically. So it makes a, a, a character that is hard to kill really hard to kill. Whereas Superman actually. Oh, that's all. Oh, I had to say something. I was like, wait a minute, yo, we had that much of a lead. I'm dead. You don't know what you're in for. Yeah, he's like our baseline. Yeah, this is why I have to play him because if I care about the balance of the game, it actually makes it a, a much easier to balance a game when you know Shaggy is in a healthy state, since he is the baseline. As you can see, he doesn't have a shirt anymore. <laughs> and he's pretty ripped. Slice and dice. Thank <laughs> you. 
want to fight you, Diana, but I will. Match point! Red team! I won't make that mistake again. kill. Hold up. Oh, we're treating it just a team. I'm coming back. Yeah. Oof. Watch out for some man. Come on down. Oof. Come on down. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, tennis ball. <laughs> All right, well, we just got done with some games. Me and Tony were able to hold our own for, for some of them. Well, how do you guys feel after playing uh, Multiverse? What, what are your thoughts on the game right now? Well, first of all, I think you guys are probably the best players we've ever played. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and I Absolutely. feel like that made the experience, like, super duper awesome. I love playing this game at, like, at the level, like a higher level, the game starts to become really fast, really combo-based. You can see a lot of the teamwork, a lot of the ideas just mm -hmm. going into the game plan. Like, Great experience. I I want to already hop back on. Void especially. I've actually never seen some of the combos that you're doing on, on Tom and Jerry. You're you're comboing me from mid map. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this <laughs> more closely. But that's a very on character treat. Yeah, I mean it was on character treat. It was uh, it was kind of nuts. So I was like it was very eye opening playing you guys and um, and I could see why you guys got to the top of the ladder. What allowed you to take Tom and Jerry and Wonder Woman to the top of the leaderboard? Tom and Jerry, they hold a special place in my heart. This is my guy, and I get to play him in just multiverse. I'm like, dude, I, I, can't, I can't help myself. I have to play Tom and Jerry. Seeing Wonder Woman was more so like, I like her moveset. You can snipe someone off stage with a lasso, or you can reel them back towards you. You can reel your partner in. I was like, this is all great utility. She still had so many other well-defined aspects to her that I thought she was a really strong character. Tom and Jerry's kind of more of a zoner. He's trying to hit Jerry, but in the process, he's hitting everybody else. Mm -hmm. And it just helps a lot in a 2v2 environment to have somebody who can control a lot of space that both Tom and Jerry can control. You know, actually in his design, that was one of our goals, was we wanted them to be collateral damage. <laughs> They're not trying to fight other people. They're yeah. fighting each other. <laughs> and so I'm glad that that came across. Of yeah. course. It's brilliant. Was there any like special moments between you know Wonder Woman, Tom and Jerry, while you guys were playing that just stood out to you? More so Wonder Woman, she's like a very team-oriented character. And she works really well with her teammates, like traveling to them, putting armor on her teammates. And you know Tom and Jerry, they're also very team oriented, and like it's just very interactive, and it's just funny to think like Tom and Jerry and Wonder Woman working together to <laughs> defeat Superman. So what what aspects of the TV two did you guys enjoy? Personally, for me, I guess as a Wonder Woman player, I, I love that hitting my armor actually teleports me to my partner to shield them as well. I, I think that's really creative. I think it was well balanced too with the cooldown that was added to it. Mm -hmm. Love double edge guarding people yes. together. Like going off stage, <laughs> yeah. you have the massive hitbox of uh, Tom's frying pan. Yeah. And then of course you have my like my sword and I'm just like, sit down, you know, <laughs> going mad ham off stage. I also like that basically uh, I can save him if I need to lasso him back onto the stage, mm. or I can snipe someone that he puts off stage, right. you know, from a distance. Is there anything that you guys would tell us to like help us keep improving the game as we move forward, developing it? Keep being creative. I think that's what I would have to say, because there's so many things in the game that I didn't know that I'd love already, mm -hmm. and I feel like I wouldn't want that to stop. Mm -hmm. Like, all the ring outs, even like the lobby music is like stuck in my head. Yep. And, just so on and so forth, you know, there's so many worlds that can come together in multiverses and I just I just want even more of that. I agree with Void. 
keep up the creativity because alongside the amazing gameplay, that's what's carrying the game. I, I didn't know how many characters or possibilities were able to actually be included in a new platform fighter. And so the big thing for me was I really wanted to see if this could carve its own path and be something totally unique. And when I finally got to play the game, it surpassed my expectations tenfold. And I feel like your team has done an amazing job really bringing these characters to life. These are iconic, legendary characters. And so it just makes me excited to see what's coming in the future from this game because you already, I'm sold, I love it. I, I genuinely love the game. The big thing for us is to make sure our characters play the way that you think that character would play. Mm -hmm. Just like Tom and Jerry, when, when Daniel designed and showed me Tom and Jerry and they're chasing each other, they don't care about the, mm -hmm. the opponents, they're just fighting each other. That's like so classic and, it's incredible. and so true and authentic to what the characters actually are. So it's really important for us to be authentic to the game, the characters, and the worlds that we're in. So that's why we went after the most authentic versions of the, the voice actors playing the characters, as well as the music. So a lot of the music is, uh, is the original scores remixed specifically for this game. I think the most special thing that any creator in anything can do is give people something they didn't know they wanted. And I think Multiverses is basically the epitome of that. I didn't know I wanted all these different properties to come together. I didn't know I wanted all these different remixes to music. I didn't know I wanted ring out animations. I didn't know I wanted like 2D or 3D stickers or any of that stuff. And so to finally have that in a platform fighter that also still retains the same playability as other enjoyable games, it's just like the perfect culmination of what makes a game special and what brings out pretty much the art and beauty in a project. We're gonna make consistent updates with the game. And, it, and it's gonna give us an opportunity to actually talk to the community and get what the community wants out of the game and for our dev team to actually support that and make updates that are catered to players and what they want. Of course, we want to have a bunch of new characters come in, new skins, new ways to, you know, customize. We're going to add lots of stages. And again, we don't want any barrier to entry, so we're going to have cross-platform, cross-progressions. You know, we just want it to be as smooth and easy as possible to play wherever you want to play and however you want to play. Yeah, we're looking to support as many different types of players as possible. Like, we want to have a game that uh, anybody can just pick up and play, but also has this really deep mastery curve. Um, the other things are we're trying to make the best in class online. Um, of any game um, basically ever. And so we're investing a lot of uh, our resources into making um, online a great experience. So after everything we've been talking about, I'm kind of getting the itch to play again. So I have to ask, when's the next time Multiverse is going to be available? The closed alpha is May 19th, and it's going to be uh, open to more territories as well as on every single platform that we support. So PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. And players can sign up on multiverses.com for a chance to participate. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Tony, Void, and the Cat for joining me today. We had a lot of fun. Multiverses is a free-to-play platform fighter that will be coming out later this year on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Thank you, and see you soon.